When a glacier the size of Rome collapsed in eastern Antarctica last month, it triggered alarm around the world. One of the major causes was global warming. But what phenomenon actually led to this collapse left the scientists wondering. A recent study has shown that the atmospheric rivers, also known as rivers in the sky, are causing extreme temperatures, surface melt and sea ice disintegrations. Atmospheric river is a long plume of moisture that transports warm air and water vapor from the tropics to other parts of the earth and is playing a great role in destabilizing ice shelves on the Antarctic Peninsula. This is not the first time such conditions have been witnessed. Back in 1995 and 2002, during the collapse of Antarctica's Larsen A and B ice shelves, a similar phenomenon was observed. And now, with the projected warming of Earth's temperatures, the biggest remaining ice shelf in the Antarctic Peninsula, Larsen C, is also at the risk of total collapse. The authors of the study published in the Nature Journal Communications uh, Earth and Environment use algorithms, climate models and sat satellite observations to determine that 60% of the peninsula's carving events were triggered by atmospheric rivers in the last two decades. But what does this mean for the already dire threat of rising sea levels? Scientists say that the collapse of Larsen Sea would spell bad news for the sea levels around the planet. Ice shelves can break off and cause sea levels to rise as well, but also noted that they do not add a huge volume to the levels. The reason is because they are already floating in the water. But more importantly, ice shelves play a critical role in preventing a much larger sea level rise. These uh, inferences are proposed from one study. Scientists are still looking for more proof on what role the atmospheric rivers play. This is that similar events in the future will provide more clarity. We are now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.